power section of Rubber Hose 3 has two very useful functions, integration with essential properties and baking hoses to speed up render times. To bake all of the hoses in your composition, deselect your layers and click the Bake Hoses button. Rubber Hose will convert all of the hose expressions to keyframes, greatly improving render time. All modified layers will be locked to preserve the baked result. Keyframes on rubber hose controllers will be preserved, but modifying these controllers will no longer affect the hoses. However, it is still possible to modify the styling of the hose layers as you would normally. If you change your mind or need to make modifications, just click the Unbake Hoses button with no layers selected, and all of the dynamics of the original layers will be restored. Essential Properties in After Effects is a feature that allows you to choose specific properties within a comp to be accessible outside of that comp. These properties become available when used as a pre-comp within the layer's contents and even support expressions. This opens up many possibilities for how flexible a composition can be in After Effects, and Rubber Hose 3 takes advantage of this flexibility. With nothing selected, Rig to EGP will populate the Essential Graphics panel with all supported Rubber Hose properties. This comp can now be nested inside another comp and positioned however you'd like. With the pre-comp selected, click the EGP to Rig button and Rubber Hose will recreate controllers for everything that was placed in the Essential Graphics panel, giving you complete control of your rig outside of the rig comp. These controllers are parented and relative to the pre-comp, allowing you to freely transform the layer without affecting the character rig. Position, rotate, scale, and even flip this composition while still maintaining control of the hoses. By default, Rubber Hose will add all available properties to the Essential Graphics panel, but access to all of these properties may not always be necessary. With only hose controllers selected, Rig to EGP will only add the position and rotation properties of those controllers to the Essential Graphics panel. You can also select any number of supported properties, click the Rig to EGP button, and only those selected properties will be added. When using the EGP to Rig button, only the properties that have been added to the Essential Graphics panel will transfer. Properties may be removed from the Essential Graphics panel at any time by selecting them and pressing the Delete key. These properties will also be removed from all instances of this comp's Essential Properties. Because of the way that Essential Properties work in After Effects, layers that need access to the Position property cannot have parent layers within the Rig comp. If any controllers you need access to have already been parented to other layers, be sure to unparent those layers prior to clicking the EGP to Rig button. Clicking the Rig to EGP button with a hose layer selected will only add the hose controls. Selecting any other type of layer, even if it's not from rubber hose, will only add the position and rotation values for those layers. This can be very useful for limiting the number of properties that are transferred to the Essential Graphics panel. Any other supported After Effects properties may be added manually by selecting those properties and clicking the Rig to EGP button. This allows you to add any custom rig controls to the essential properties for that comp, even if they're from another rigging tool like Limber or Duic. When using EGP to rig, Rubber Hose will recreate any non-Rubber Hose layers related to those properties. This layer is my character's body artwork, which is the parent of the shoulder and hip controllers. I'd like to simplify the appearance of this layer, so I'll delete the contents add a rectangle, and apply a stroke. Now I have a simple body controller for my EGP character rig. Multiple instances of the same rig with independent controls is now possible using essential properties. Just select the pre-comp, go to the Manage section, and click the Duplicate button. Give this instance a new name, and Rubber Hose will duplicate this rig complete with independent controls for this instance. This greatly expands the possibilities of character customization from a singular rig. It can even be updated after EGP to Rig has been used. For example, I could add some of the colors of this character to the Essential Graphics panel by selecting the properties and clicking the Rig to EGP button. These color controls are immediately available within the Essential Properties of the Precomp, allowing me to independently customize the colors of each rig. Complex controls and variations can be created from a single character rig. All four of these characters use the same source rig with essential properties that allow you to animate each individually, as well as modify colors and even select custom artwork for the mouths and props for the characters. Using essential properties provides so much flexibility for what can be done with the character rig. And with Rubber Hose 3's integration of the Essential Graphics panel, leveraging that potential has never been easier. 